smallpox, variola virus, smallpox is a viral disease characterized by a skin rash and a high death rate. There are two forms of smallpox. Variola major is a serious illness with a death rate of about 30 percent or more in unvaccinated people. Variola minor is a milder infection with a death rate of less than 1 percent. The incubation period for smallpox is approximately 12 to 14 days. According to the CDC, since the vaccine has not been administered in the U.S. since 1972, those persons who had received the vaccine in the past are likely susceptible now, as are those who have never been vaccinated. It is not known how long previous vaccinations would remain effective, but it is unlikely that people would still have a high enough level of immunity to protect against the virus. Symptoms High fever, fatigue, severe headache, backache, malaise, delirium, vomiting, diarrhea, excessive bleeding, raised pink rash, turns into pus-filled lesions that become crusty on day eight or nine. Treatment. If the smallpox vaccination is given within one to four days of exposure to the disease, it may prevent illness or at least lessen the degree of illness associated with the disease. Treatment once the disease symptoms have started is limited. There is no agent that has been specifically made for treating smallpox. Sometimes antibiotics are given for secondary infections that may occur. Vaccinia immune globulin, antibodies against a disease similar to smallpox, may help shorten the disease. If a diagnosis of smallpox were made, exposed persons would need to be isolated immediately. The isolation would include not just the person who contracted the disease, but all other face-to-face -face contacts with that person. These individuals would need the vaccine and need to be monitored. Emergency measures to protect a broader segment of the population would have to be implemented immediately within the recommended guidelines from the CDC and other federal and local health agencies. Smallpox Family Guide to Home Care If you or any member of your family has any of the following symptoms, Go to the nearest hospital or treatment center now. High fever, extreme fatigue, head and body aches, vomiting, rash that turns into pus-filled lesions. If you have been exposed or suspect exposure to smallpox, Go now to a public health dispensing site for preventive care. Stay away from those who are sick. 
Smallpox is very contagious, but cannot be caught from animals or insects. Smallpox is most contagious when a rash appears. However, it is sometimes contagious in its early stages, usually marked by fever and body aches, sometimes vomiting. People can get smallpox by being in direct, close contact, usually within six feet, with an infectious person. The virus is found in droplets of saliva released when the infectious person talks, coughs, or sneezes. Direct contact with materials such as bedding and clothing contaminated with the virus is another way people can become infected. Only people can spread the virus. Get your family vaccinated. Get your family vaccinated. If in an area that has an outbreak of smallpox, public health officials will set up vaccination dispensing sites. A person who has had close contact with an infected person can greatly reduce the chance of becoming sick by seeking vaccination immediately. Use everyday sanitation techniques. Using common sense sanitation techniques can lessen your chance of exposure. Wash hands frequently, especially after eating or drinking, after using the bathroom facilities. Use a solution of one part household bleach to nine parts water or standard hospital grade disinfectant for cleaning surfaces. Leave on for 30 minutes. Disinfect bathroom and kitchen areas daily. Seek help. If the person is having trouble breathing, Go to the closest hospital or treatment center now. If you are vaccinated, a successful smallpox vaccination will create a red and itchy bump at the vaccine site in three to four days. In the first week, the bump will become a large blister, fills with pus, and begins to drain. The blister will begin to dry up and form a scab during the second week. The scab will fall off during the third week and leave a small scar. People who are vaccinated for the first time most likely will have a stronger reaction than those who are being re-vaccinated. It is very important to take care of the vaccinated area. The vaccination does not contain the smallpox virus and cannot spread or cause smallpox. However, the vaccine does contain another live virus called vaccinia that can spread to other parts of the body or to other people from the vaccination site. Proper care of the vaccinated area will prevent that from happening. Healthcare professionals will give specific instructions as to the care you should take 
when you or your family members become vaccinated. Follow all post-vaccination instructions carefully. These instructions will include do not touch or let others touch your vaccinated area before it is healed. Do not touch or let others touch bandages or clothing that have become contaminated with the virus present in the vaccine. Cover the vaccinated area with loose gauze secured with medical tape until the scab has separated on its own. Wear a shirt as extra protection. Keep the site dry. Change the bandage every day or every other day. Wash hands with soap and warm water after direct contact with the bandage or vaccination site. Put bandages in sealed plastic bags before throwing away. Keep a separate laundry hamper for clothing, towels, bedding, or other items that may have come in direct contact with the vaccinated area or drainage from the area. Wash clothing or other materials that come in contact with the vaccinated area using hot water, detergent, and bleach. Wash hands after handling clothing and other materials in contact with the area. When the scab comes off, throw it away in a sealed plastic bag and wash hands after discarding. Take care of yourself. You will not be able to care for others if you do not also care for yourself. Get plenty of rest, drink lots of liquids, and maintain a healthy diet. If you are taking an antibiotic, follow all instructions and continue to take the medications for the length of time recommended. If you develop a fever or have flu-like symptoms, seek medical care immediately. Where to get more information. Stay tuned to local media for ongoing updates. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention Public Response Hotline In English 888-246-2600 in Spanish, 888-246-2857. For TTY users, 888-874-2646.